Uh, we know there are more young adults living with their parents these days than any other uh, living arrangement right now. And financial professional Skip Johnson with Great Bonders Financial joins us with some tips on how we can keep the peace when the whole family, all the family, in one room. Back under the roof. Yeah. Uh, so it used to be kind of taboo for, you know, young adults to be living with mom and dad. Certainly that was never the thought when you and I were growing right. up, right, ever. Uh, but now this is kind of, it seems like it's the new norm. Yeah, this uh, new study is interesting. Actually, over a third of young adults are living back at home. And that's wow. more than getting married and starting their own family during that time. That's more than, you know, living on their own. It's yeah. actually the most common living arrangement for millennials. Uh, so why, why do we think that there's an increase in adult children living at home? Part, partly because some of these kids who, who maybe go off to college and get a degree can't find work. Is that part of it? Yeah, you know, younger uh, young men actually are uh, historically underemployed right now or unemployed. Their salaries, when you adjust for inflation, aren't keeping up, so they're, mm -hmm. they're decreasing. You add, uh, in my opinion, a terrible student loan problem uh, right. where they just can't afford different things because of their debt payments. Mm -hmm. But it's a it's a challenge, and uh, all those all those people together can lead to some some sticky living situations. Uh, so what what can parents do to kind of you know, one of the big problems you have when you're living together in a situation like that is you know who's the head of the household here, and it's sometimes there's some friction, and it's it's tough to keep the peace. Yeah. So number one, I think you have to establish ground rules. Mm -hmm. It's you know what are your expectations, and lay that out up front as the parent. As the parent. Yeah. How long are you willing to help out for? When are they expected to get a job? Are they helping buy groceries? Are they paying some rent? And laying those things out in advance. Right. You don't want your child to revert to the way they uh, maybe were when they were younger, when mom and dad took care of everything and made the bed and uh, whatever. You sure. know, that's, these are adults. Uh, let's have those conversations up front. Right. And make sure that there, there isn't something missing there that might cause friction down the road so that you, all the cards are on the table. Uh, next up, you've got team up. What does that mean to team up? What I'm meaning there is mom and dad or both parents need to be on the same page, okay? okay? Uh, dad can't be slipping one money and the other one's saying no. You need to be together in what in the, in the front you're bringing. Mm -hmm. And then with team up, it's also team up to, to help establish good money habits. Mm -hmm. You know, it's interesting if you're living for free essentially and then you go to move out, you're not used to paying rent. Maybe you say that that rent money that you otherwise would have been paying should be directed toward you know, student loans or paying down debt. Get them used to making the decisions that as an adult you'll have to in the real world. Right, but by the same token, you don't want to totally take advantage of your parents, so you want to help. You don't want handouts either, right? Right, so helping and, and um, if you're in a position to help and you can reduce their rent or give them a spot to live, maybe you can help give them a boost, but we don't want a handout. We want it mm -hmm. to help them up, right? A uh, hand up, not a handout. And so if they haven't started budgeting, that's a great, I know everybody hates the budget word, but go to greatwatersfinancial.com. There's a terrific budget template there that sure. you can get. They need to learn, you know, how to start moving ahead on their own uh, finances. So we want, you know, a hand up, not right. a hand out. And maybe cut the yard. It's, it's overgrown out there, uh, son. Get out there and, and use that mower. Yeah. Help yeah. out in that contribute. sense too. Yes, exactly. Contribute. contribute. And then the last point here is to prioritize your money. And with that, I'm talking to mom and dad, saying, uh, you know, recent stats are saying that people are robbing their 401ks to help kids pay for college, oh to help with down payments on their kids' homes, don't things that. like that. You know, um, your children don't need to live in the same type of home you live in right. within three years after college. Exactly. They can work their way up the same way you did. Right. So make sure to prioritize your own money. Your retirement money mm -hmm. is, is for that. Yeah. It's your retirement. It should be off limits when it comes to helping out and uh, we'll make some good steps so you can enjoy your own comfortable financial future. And then everyone can get together when they're under the one roof so we can get them into another roof yes. eventually. Good Absolutely. stuff. All right. And happy birthday to your wife, Amy. It's your yeah. birthday today. Happy birthday. That's great. Amy, hello. Uh, Skip Johnson from Great Waters Financial. Thanks for being here, yeah, Skip. Great to be here as uh, always. For more information, you go to Skip's website. It's greatwatersfinancial.com. That's greatwatersfinancial.com.